Okay, um, how do we increase the power of a test for hypothesis testing? Alright, so the power of the test, remember, is um, 1 minus the probability of a type 2 error. And remember, probably of a, the, a type 2 error is um, when we don't reject a false null hypothesis. So there are two ways we can increase the power of a test. First way is um, to get more information. So the more information you have when you run a test, the more accurate um, your your conclusions. So how do we get more information? We increase n our sample size. Okay. So you increase your sample size. The more information you have, the less likely you are to make an error. The second one is to think of the nature of a type two error. So suppose this is our test. Okay, and let's imagine it's a lower tail test. Okay, and so this is a false null hypothesis. Okay, so imagine this is a false null hypothesis. And so this means, so this area here is when we do not reject our false null hypothesis. We want to minimize this region, right? We, we want to minimize the chance that we do not reject a false null hypothesis. So what do we do? We should increase our rejection region. Okay. So if we increase our significance level, or alpha, um, that would uh, increase the power of the test. Because increasing alpha would increase our rejection region, so we're less likely to conduct a type 2 error. Okay, so these are the two ways you can improve the power of a test.